Hey everyone, my name is Chris and today I'm recording this video to showcase to you roll dice. So I'm gonna show you how it works and then I'm gonna go for the guys who want to see more about it and see how it works, so we'll go in better detail. So as you may see we have a command, it's slash roll, gives you the option on how many dice you're allowed to say, so let's say two, and then we have a max of six, let's say six sides, we're gonna roll, and there we go. I roll two dice. With a 4 and a 1, it's all a 5. If you roll 3 dice, let's say, it won't allow us. And if you roll, let's say, uh, we don't put anything, it still won't work. So this is how the roll things works. You can actually change everything through the config file, as you can see here. And yeah. Okay, so let's now go to deeper detail how everything works. So, first thing is from the server side. I have this create citizen thread create what it checks is if you actually are using the command so if you're using the command it's gonna do this uh, if statement and it's gonna register the command so you can actually use it and also it will enable the suggestion that happens to the client side for every player that joins server so what happens here is that it takes these dice makes them to numbers and the sides also and then if everything is correct it's gonna go trigger the event that comes right here this box also i forgot to tell you is that if you want to use this resource as with items let's say you're you want to use it as a registerable uh, registerable item you just need to call this trigger event you need to send the server id and you need to also send dices and the sides. So these three things, that's what you only need. And the rest, it happens from the script itself. So here we are. Here it creates a table with the amount of dices and randomizes them, the sides eventually. And then it sends to every client on the server this trigger event. So we're gonna go to the client side. It's gonna come to client role. It calls this function that creates a string. What create this uh, role string does is just sets up the string that it's gonna show you on the screen. As you can see on my screen, here, the string that you see exactly here, yes. And then what else do we have? Mm, here it checks if you're using one thing or not. How it works is that if the locations are zero, is that it's gonna use functions that uh, work only when it's not one sync and then we have the animation you can see the animation down here and lastly show roll show roll will just do a simple thing it checks uh, the location here how far away you are and if you're between 15 meters then it's going to show uh, um, the role, the string actually, the 3D text for this amount of seconds that you've sent it from the config. And lastly, what else do we have here is, yeah, here it calls again the draw text 3D and you can also change the offset through here and calls this function. Lastly, one more thing is that we have this citizen create thread. What this does is uh, utilizes Lua's library system, it collects garbage and produces, uh, the script produces every 60 seconds. So pretty much it cleans RAM, nothing much. I would recommend you adding this to every script in your server and it's going to improve your server by a few megabytes, not a lot, but if you do eventually add it everywhere, it should be decent. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you do need any help or anything with setting, th setting things up, or you have any other questions for anything else, feel free to hop on my Discord. It will be on the screen. And yeah, see you next time, guys.